Hi guys, today I'm going to show you my Bible journaling process of John chapter 21 verses 15 to 19 which is talking about Jesus' instructions to Peter about feeding his sheep. Now the first thing I'm going to do when I start is to put some base colour down on my page. I'm using these acrylic paints um, by Illustrated Faith and uh, they come in in a set of five and I've pulled out the two sort of the blue or the turquoise and the yellow and I'm going to be creating a little bit of a sheep scene down the bottom so I want some sort of green um, and the closest this set comes in is this turquoise but I thought maybe I can mix in a bit of the yellow and make a bit of a green so what I'm actually going to do is pull off like I don't have a paint palette right here but I'm just going to pull off the plastic um, covering from one of my alphas and use it as my mixing palette and then I can just throw it away at the end you know so we'll just oh, and those are the two I'm going to mix to make my sort of greeny color and then I want these darker colors at the top as well now I'm not using very much you really don't need very much because I'm also using um, the paint chip thing <laughs> I don't know <laughs> And it kind of spreads it far and wide, you know, so I really don't need a lot of the actual paint. I've got my Bible mat underneath my page, and then I'm going to just um, scrape some of this across. I guess it's a yellowy green that I've made here, isn't it? It's not very greeny green, but, you know, really doesn't matter. The fact that it's not completely mixed, I kind of like as well. And then I'm going to take in some of my um, turquoise or aqua and start bringing that up the page. Some of that yellow is going into it again. Um, and I don't mind, I don't mind in the slightest. And then take some of my darker blue to bring this way up the page. And you can see there's really no exact science here just scraping it on so I've still got heaps of paint left and I could just keep on going if I wanted to let's put a little bit right in the edge here right in the corner I mean and I'll just leave it as at that I think put that to one side now because it's scraped on really thinly it's going to dry quite quickly as well um, so I can already touch that without it being wet. I'm going to quickly highlight the verses um, where it says, feed my lambs, tend my sheep. Um, I think that's it. Cool. Um, and so I've just highlighted that in the with um, a Faber Castle Pit Artist um, Big Brush Pen and underlining it also with my um, Illustrated Faith Pen as well. These are waterproof so um, always good to use whenever you're using paints as well. So I've highlighted the verses that I'm doing there uh, and then I'm going to build up from the bottom to the top just so that I know I've got enough room um, to fit in everything I want. I have already cracked open this sticker sheet. This is from Illustrated Faith again. It's the um, Praise Him um, cardstock stickers. And you can see I've already used a couple, but it's got some cute sheep down here. So I obviously want to get these down the bottom. So one sheep there, second sheep right next to him. Oh, I put paint on him. Never mind. Um, bit of washi tape right down the bottom as well. The this one says "Amen, Amen, Amen, Amen" lots of times. Right down there, and then um, as I said, building my way up from there. So. 
what I want it to say is um, a quote that my pastor used and he said um, uh, Jesus didn't say that you need to be in leadership he asked you to feed his sheep and when you sort of say that you kind of get the joke that he's saying there instead of lead a sheep it's feed my sheep so that's what I want to write so I'm gonna write feed my sheep down here um, I'll start from as I said so I'm starting backwards so if I write sheep in first my P. It's not jumping out at me. You can probably all see it from there, hey? There it is. There. Right down there. So feed, or oh, that's a sheep, and then I want feed my. Just trying to figure out what colors um, to use as well. Like if I use the green, it might be a little bit too same same so maybe we'll go quite bold and we'll do black and I'll go feed as well Whenever I'm using um, the alpha stickers, when I just first put them on, I put them on quite lightly in case I want to sort of readjust their positioning once all the letters are on. So, for example, I just wanted to move that D over, so I'm just going to adjust my E's so that that all lines up nicely. So it says, feed my sheep. Um, and then grabbing my pen again um, to make those orange letters stand out even more I'm just going to go around them now you definitely want to make sure that your paint is dry before you ever put the pen to the paper because you can you know ruin your pens by putting them all in the wet paint ask me how I know <laughs> All right, now I obviously don't really need to, sorry, I just bumped the camera there. I obviously don't need to go over the black ones because they already stand out. So um, the rest of the quote said, Jesus didn't, ask, he asked you to, he asks you, he asks you to feed my sheep. Um, I want to write, leadership here just trying to figure out of course how I want to do that um, just putting that down lightly and then I'm going to go over it and um, make it quite bold but I just want to get all of my words in first um, so it said I really should have written this down beforehand so I didn't have to keep on thinking about it every time um, he didn't ask you to be in leadership he didn't ask you. Now, as I said, I'm going to um, now fill in the rest of this. So I've I've obviously um, used that pun um, and made it obvious that it is a pun by writing leadership rather than leadership. My pastor has a very quirky sense of humour. Um, and I'm not sure if he um, made this up himself or if he was quoting somebody else but you know when he says something like that and I know like it's really it struck a note with me I write it down of course in my notes 
and then I can almost tell like right then in that instance that that is going to be something that I'm going to have to put into my um, journaling bible you know cool so there we go so that's the basis basically of the page and then it always just comes down to like the last um, bits and pieces of decorating um, so generally of course it has a bit of a tab up the top um, and I put um, maybe some other stickers on um, maybe I can put don't know so this is where I just start going through my stuff basically um, and try and then figure out what's going to fit and what's going to um, work well. Maybe to finish off my sky theme, I could put some clouds in. And the sun. Yeah, maybe the sun. Does that work well? stick him in too late now he's stuck on can't undo it <laughs> um, probably no room to stick any other clouds next to him now but I can stick a little bow at the top um, maybe some more washi tape Um, enamel hearts. I've got a few different colors here. Um, let's stick with maybe the red ones. Maybe just a couple of these littler ones. Always doing things in odd numbers, you know, that's just one of those design rules, isn't it? Threes and fives, etc. And then um, that's really about it. Like what I often then do at this point in time is just leave it to completely dry, think about it some more, figure out if I want to add any more sort of color or um, if I can add any different decorations. Um, like this is kind of annoying me here because I can see that. A through the top I really probably want to put in a tab and I just can't find one at the moment maybe I'll write one of grabbing one of these um, ones that says sermon by just to remind myself that it actually came from a sermon um, and that I didn't just make it up and I'm going orange to just correspond with the orange of um, the letters that I use down there Put that there. Um, use my pen again. Um, and sermon was by Pastor Brown. Um, and the date was I don't even know whether it was um, the tenth. Cool. So I think that's really going to be it now. Um, I have used all of my Illustrated Faith products for this page, as you can see. Um, and I'll put some links down in the YouTube description about where you can purchase these from if you're interested in, in grabbing any of these for yourself. But, you know, the most important thing about all of this is that you're getting into the word and that you're enjoying yourself and you're just responding in a way that feels natural for you. Um, thanks for joining with me today. I'll see you again later. Bye.